early morning on a Saturday. Peacekeepers, police and other UN personnel prepare for a surprise search. Rwanda FPU will move in with the IPOs and search anyone found within the area. After the briefing, the troops move in. They are heading to search an area outside the protection of civilian site in Juba, looking for any criminal activity after reports that women travelling outside of the camp are being harassed and intimidated. There are fears that gangs are operating in the area. Move them, move them here. Hello. A number of young men are found. Most cooperate, but some resist. They are briefly held, searched and questioned about why they are there. It's, it's basically young men who come here and uh, understandably so, uh, if you can imagine young people sitting idling, doing nothing, they would try to find something to do. So you have these young men who form gangs and they would come here and sit down here. Of course they use their valley to, to, to wash themselves and wash their clothes as well. But in the meantime, um, they would be planning other things, the activity out of boredom. They, and, and it is likely that they will be engaging in other activities. But when you talk to them, they will tell you, no, we're just here to wash ourselves and wash our clothes. The men say just that. They are here to wash in the nearby waterway or to sell goods such as okra and mint to people passing by. So you are not involved in any criminal activity? Huh? No, no, no. I don't know anything about this. Yes, I come this morning to wash my clothes here. This is the reason why I brought me here. While it's not a pleasant experience, the men themselves live in the nearby camp, along with more than 38,000 other displaced people. They acknowledge that the search is designed to keep them and others safe. Yeah, it is important. It is important to look. If there is something going wrong, it's your duty to stop these activities. Even me, if I see anything, I can tell you. The UN Mine Action Service carry out an extensive search of the area, checking under rocks and in bushes. They are looking for illegal items, particularly weapons that can be hidden here and later transported into the camp to be used against people inside. Lift this up, mate. Make sure there's nothing underneath it. OK. So like this area so that the site can one of the UN's most important jobs here in South Sudan is to protect people who fled the violence. The protection of civilian site is right next to the UN base. This weapons free zone is 200 metres wide. It's designed as a kind of buffer zone to allow peacekeepers and police to keep criminals and weapons out and the people inside safe. Women travelling to and from the base say they have been harassed both inside and outside the protection of civilian site. Ken ask a dear woman by the gata mashama woman because Joe Bomsi Bashira Jan Nalder and Mabar La Toban Zul Bunum no me under the moat. La manet to go on a burga mashama charato. Why Bashir Zura can live a zura is cut and you serve that. Ten ask a tear bakun by Bamal Harkaza by the Bungul Zura Bashilo. Taban mind the guru the shilo. Oh mind the hajat doom some of Bashilo. Ella Zura Mazir. This operation is designed specifically to reduce the risk of violence against vulnerable people. There were reports of harassment and robbery these women and in the past even rape uh, reports came through. So it is important that we come to make sure that we check the area, we check the people who are found on the area to make sure that there is no weapons, there is no uh, dangerous uh, uh, and to warn them that we are aware of activities that is taking place and if it's continue we will next time take an action we round them up and hand them over to local authority. While no illegal items are found this time the search operation has sent a strong message about the consequences of criminal activity. Yes, visibility is a great part of the police work, so not only engaging the community in awareness, but also showing that we are here 24-7. Demonstrating to the community within and outside the camp that the UN is committed to protecting the people of South Sudan and helping build durable peace. <laughs>